They say that heaven is ten billion light years away. And just a pure heart will walk a righteous street someday. They say that heaven is ten zillion light years away. I better quit. I better quit. <laughs> We did them now. Oh, I got to stop. All right. She never did it. Anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, my illustrious family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I got a real, real interesting story um, for y'all. And, um, this is they, they they saying this is a dangerous move by NASA, and this move that they get ready to make can trigger an invasion on Earth. Okay, this is what the scientists are warning NASA of. NASA is about to do this dangerous move, and it's going to trigger invasion on Earth. Oh, my God. Well, that's what the sci- scientists warn. Anyway, NASA will broadcast information about Earth into outer space, but an Oxford scientist has called it dangerous as it could trigger an invasion on Earth by aliens. What y'all think about this story? It says that humans have always wondered if we are alone in the universe. Well, guess what? (coughs) Whoa. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. What what welcome to the mental house. Um I wanna know (coughs) seriously what y'all think about this because this is it's really weird. You know, because we're so arrogant, and you know we believe a lot of times that we're the only life form that God ever created. However, there's a lot of us that beg to differ and um, and have proof, but you don't want to talk about it unless you're with like-minded people because you're going to be wrote off as being insane. Okay, but what I beg to differ I say what is insane is doing the same thing over and over and over and over again and expecting different results. Okay. And you keep getting the same result, but you keep doing it. Okay. So anyway, humans, again, have always wondered if we are alone in this universe or if there exists other forms of life form, intelligent. In other words, aliens on different planets, just like on Earth. Well, while physically checking the vastness of space for an answer, it is not feasible. A NASA-led team of scientists have come up with a solution, though, and that's to reach out to any extraterrestrial species that may exist. The team intends to broadcast a message called Beacon in the Galaxy in short uh, wave radio form to a part of the Milky Way identified as likely to be occupied by aliens. But an Oxford researcher has warned that that is just not the way. So, Ann Sandberg, a senior research scientist, Um, told the Daily Telegraph that despite the low probability of the message actually reaching an extraterrestrial civilization, it has such a high impact that you actually need to take it rather seriously. Sandberg also expressed that there existed a giggle factor around any mission looking for an alien life which made discussions around it very difficult as people refuse 
to take anything seriously. So, according to Sandberg, if the NASA message is received and decoded by an alien species, it is safe to assume that they are a highly advanced civilization. And once they receive all the knowledge about the solar system, planets, Earth's surface, and humanity, it can serve as a I wish you were here postcard. Huh. Oh, God. With absolutely no knowledge about the civilization or their circumstances, the beacon of galaxy will reach. We would not know if they would find the resource-rich Earth a suitable place for a hostile takeover. How will we know? So, but we do know that they can't leave well enough alone. Leave well enough, well enough, leave well enough alone. And this is why man going to get so wise, he will destroy himself. See, we're going to destroy ourselves from the inside of this cesspool full of lies, not being able to take the truth and deal with the responsibility and the repercussions of our actions. We don't, um, no, I'm not going to say we, I'm going to say the elite of this society don't want to take responsibility for the madhouse that they've created, stealing from the Native American, enslaving the black African, all these damn things, and you got the nerve to be trying to shout out somebody else to come and see all the hell you done raised on this planet. You want somebody to come from out of space to actually look at this mess and think that they're going to want to inhabit the earth with you, if they got any kind of intelligence, you going to be the one they suck up and smash because you got a takeover spirit that's not necessary for humanity to survive. And they're going to recognize that right away because they're going to be figuring, y'all try to figure out a way to do what they do, they'll just kill you right off the bat. It says, notably, this is not the first time a message like this is being shared about space. In 1974, the Arecibo message was sent to the globular star cluster M13 using a radio telescope in Puerto Rico. The message contained basic information about humanity. No reported response has come from it. Okay. Anyway, if y'all want to um, see other articles like this, um, check out High Tech. And um, because I, some of the information that they put out, like I've gotten one of these Google um, warning signs or warning, I guess what you call them, apps. And I thought it was probably some kind of malware. But basically what it was is Google had a glitch. And um, I didn't I didn't click on it because I thought it was a hack or some kind of malware. But it wasn't. Actually, what happened was the, the, the a fault came from Google. Um, and they said it has since been rectified. So a lot of y'all might be familiar with with that app that was going around from Google and it kept going on. But anyway, enough of that. But what do y'all think about us giving a shout out to the aliens and or putting out transmitted messages? Hopefully they'll pay our asses a visit. What in the world can come? That's that's coming from an anger. Uh, um, what do you call it? Just the most arrogant, pompous, Anyway, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next video.